this is this is like my favorite favorite time of ride. It's like cool cool breeze, man. Look at that. Look at that shit. There. Nah, just every everywhere you look. Oh yeah, all those roads down there. Deep trail's the most gnarliest of them all. But you know what's interesting is, I'm not done with that trail because there is, I may come at it from the other way now. But there, there is, there is something at the top of the hill I couldn't get up. It doesn't end. It goes into almost it's really funny on the Osmond map, sometimes what looks like a lesser road turns out to even be better. And so like, there's some genuine forest roads that only are those brown dashed lines, and that's what it turns into up there. And I'm like, well, it's definitely a trail of sorts. It was, it's somewhere over from Southside Road then. Because there is no, I don't see that it comes over to the, uh, the Graves Creek Alberton way. Nah. Uh, if you take Mullen up past, uh, uh kind of where the, uh, the shooting range is. And then, yeah, that's like, is that, well, it's Southside Road that goes all the way along the river. Oh, that's the one me and you rode. Oh no, we did the we did the uh, route 12 and then came back. But then you rode that way back. Hell yeah, that's how I do fights. <laughs> that, that other 244 I was rolling, I would have been sideways. Yeah, I was power sliding everything. And any throttle on this kind of stuff, I was like, wee, wee. I don't think I'll get many miles out of these, especially if I ride them. Yeah, we'll see. They weren't really expensive though, if you're at less than a hundred bucks a, a piece. Yeah, they definitely weren't on the expensive side. What's up there? Huh. Now, in my riding, since I've had the KLR and this, I've done, I've done gnarlier stuff than, than that Jeep trail we just did. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've uh, I've taken it in some pretty fucked up places. Like I, I don't want to say this. This Blue Mountain single track, it's a different kind of hard. It's not like it's not wide, and you're not going through, but and you're not going through that kind of you know, oh, just all baby heads and gnarly shit, but it's a single track, it's narrower, and you go around, uh, basically switchbacks, and they're extremely cambered. So it's like a motocross track. So you're coming around these, and if you don't, 
if you don't go around that turn with some speed, you're going to tip over. You, well, yeah, because it's a banked corner, and you come into them, if you, if you don't hit them with speed, you can't duck walk around them. And that was, uh, I went out, I went out on the, in fact, it was funny, I went out on the double track, the ATV trails back there, and somehow I got off trails before I had my trail map loaded on this phone, and I wound up coming back on the single track. I thought I was backtracking, and found myself backtracking on something I hadn't been on. And I, I actually basically high-sided on, with, I was making a right-hand turn on one, it was like switchbacks, and then I was making a right, so like the, where I just was was down there. Yeah. And I'm making a right, and I hit a bump, and I go to put my left foot down, and there was nothing to put it down on. And I'm like, holy shit. And so I basically fell down a fucking, like, like something like that. Yeah. No, it was, it was well funny, but, so like, I knew I was going down. Right. So what I did was I kind of pushed backwards off the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, I went like this and sent the bike in front of me. Yeah. And I started to go down made one little half roll and there was a tree there so I I grabbed the tree <laughs> and the bike goes gu -gu 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 -gu, and kind of like digs in and hits another tree and it's sitting half and half and it's probably a all fairness 20 maybe maybe a 20 degree slope Oh, uh, you mean degree? 